2013 brings a new season of NASCAR, a new season of diecast collecting, and a new way of reviewing diecasts for me. Hello everybody, this is Lego Boy 1624 coming at you with another video. As you can tell by the title, if you even look at the title, that this is a video explaining how and why I am going to do my diecast reviews. So, let's get started. Say, for instance, that this is the diecast I will be reviewing. So, I will start off with the car in front and the box in the background. That, yeah. Um, so, I will start. I started off like this because I think it gives you a better idea of what the car looks like outside of the box and a better idea right off the bat if you want to buy the car or not. So once I finish talking about what kind of car this is, who drives it, what number, year, make, sponsor, and all of that, I roll the car away and I'll give you a 360 of this box. It's going to be a little bit harder for me to do 360 on top and bottom because as you can see I am on a new Pocono replica. This was seen once, be twice before in my uh, new intro for 2013 and my NASCAR flyby the second one I did um, if you want to see the whole replica uh, just go to those two videos and you can see it in action uh, maybe I'll do a whole look at after the video is over anyway so then I put the car back on screen and I give you a 360 view of this car the reason I do a 360 is because I like to give people an idea right off the bat if they should buy this car or not. And I usually just want to see the all the sides of the car, all angles. So that's usually all I stick around for in most reviews when I watch them. So that's what I want to do for you guys. Then I go into the paint scheme. Um... I'm not entirely sure why two people go over paint schemes and sponsors. Yeah, you're reviewing the car, but um, pretty much people can pretty much see for themselves what the car looks like. But anyway, as you can see, uh, the base color of this car is white. I feel that's a good idea, um, just to say the base color. And the splitter, side skirts, and roof, uh, yeah, splitter and side skirts are red, roof rail, shark fin, and spoiler are black. And the base color is white. So the front, in this case, would have a red splitter and then all white. But right in front of the tire comes this red line. Goes up the A post, down the C post, down the B post. And when it comes down the C post, it comes down and fills in the side skirts. And then there's a black line right there. And it's the same thing on the other side. With a black line underneath both red stripes and just solid white on the back. And the green, pretty much the whole greenhouse is red, except for the roof sponsor. So that's pretty much the paint scheme for this car. And um, then I would move into the sponsors. So the sponsors of this car would be Brisk. And it's, of course, a Chevy SS. Um, no contendencies on this car, but I would probably go over the contendencies. I'm not sure about the contendencies. I'm definitely going to go over the hood, what make, um, if there's a number underneath the head or tail, tail lights, uh, driver signature, any sponsors here on the quarter panel or the C post. So, uh, in this case, Little Bites is on the quarter panel. That's supposed to be a lemon on the roof. And the back has B for brisk. And Little Bites on the deck lid. And this sign is... See so that this side is, for the most part, the same. And after that, I pretty much just go into final recommendations. I put the car back pretty much like it was in the very beginning, and the box in the background, and just give some final recommendations, opinions, and stuff like that. 
Oh, and also, um, going over the sponsors, um, after I do the side sponsors, I'll probably go over the sponsor on the roof as well as the number and the driver's name on the windshield. I don't know what order I'll do that, but um, sponsor-wise, definitely the hood, front end, probably just say any contendencies or anything like that. Driver's signature, name, roof sponsor, deck leg, quarter panel, behind the number, rear end. So that's pretty much all for this video, and um, I will attempt now to give you a look at the Pocono replica if you stuck around this long. Uh, it had... I tried to make it as close as possible, so we have the Sprint Cup Series logo, Twitter, hashtag NASCAR, um, Pocono Raceway, the Tricky Triangle, Camping World, Good Sam Club, and Sprint Cup Series, and then all of that with the Catch Fence and Sprint Cup Series on the walls. So, that pretty much sums up this video. And if you, just for curiosity, if you guys want to know what this crazy contraption is, it's just to allow my iPod to angle the way it is so I can do my reviews. So, now I think this pretty much sums up this video. Um, um, oh, one more thing. Actually, before I put the die cast and the box in front of the camera, or after I do it, usually... Anytime before I do it, I say uh, that this is a Lionel Action or whatever series car with black plastic tires because it, it has black plastic tires. In this case, a white plastic chassis, or in this case, black and white plastic interior details because, um, and then clear plastic windows and a black plastic window net. And the reason why I do that is because my first ever custom, if you watched my NASCAR unboxing number 8, you know that it comes apart. And it comes apart into four pieces. The window, the, chat, uh, the interior details, which in this case are black, the actual body, and the chassis and the wheels. So that is just how and why I do my die cast reviews. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys uh, stick around for what should be a great year of diecast collecting for me. I'm anticipating about uh, 15 diecasts, which is what I aim for pretty much every year. So, uh, I'd appreciate it if you like, comment, and subscribe. And Lego Boy 1624 reminding you to join the fight to stop booing. If you work together, it gets better. We'll see you next time, everybody.